Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Dell Open Manage Server Administration. So it's also known as OMSA, Open Manage Server Administration. And I want to show you here that this particular OMSA is to manage the singular server itself. It is not Open Manage Enterprise, which manages a group of servers. So this is for a particular standalone server. So first I'm going to go over how to get the software. So this is what it actually looks like OSMA. It's a web application that runs on port 1311 of the local machine. So you'll notice here I can expand and get some information on the memory, you know, how much memory is installed, what slots are installed, and what is the max memory. You know, I, I could basically manage the perk RAID controller. So I could create RAID arrays in here, virtual disk, and, um, you know, various different other administrations. I could also even set alerts such that it could notify me of a damaged uh, hard drive. So that is the various things you could do with OMSA. Open Managed Server Administrator. Now to get the software, so you need three pieces of software, the Open Managed Server Administrator. So what you want to do is you want to search this particular prefix. Right now the most common or latest version is actually version 11. So I will have this link in the description area of the video, but um, you would simply want to Google or search up to that particular prefix and then find the latest version. Uh, I will include this link so you will be downloading version 11 here. So you can download this particular version. Uh, the next piece of software you need is the Visual Studio, I mean Visual C++ redistributable. So if you don't have this, the Windows, the Open Manage um, server administrator runs on four Windows services. So if you don't have this, it will not start. The services will not start. So if you try to start the Windows services and it gives you an unknown error, an error, this is why. It's because you don't have these particular versions. Now you could download all of these versions, which I have done, or just download the latest one. So you could download the x64 latest one. But this particular page, and I will have these links in the description area or in the comment section. Um, so I actually downloaded this particular version, which is uh, 2015 all the way to 2022. I downloaded the version 13, and I downloaded the 12 and the 10. I downloaded four versions and I installed them, and I'll show you that in my control panel. So this is the second piece of software that you need. The third piece of software you need is the OpenLogic JRE. So um, this is the Java runtime. So you could choose in this page the particular Java version. So I'm getting the latest 21 and then I'm getting the Windows version and then I'm getting the 64-bit and then I'm getting the uh, just the runtime. So I could download the MSI. I download the zip file, so you can just download the zip file. And once you get those three pieces of uh, info here, you go to the server. So I'm gonna go to the server here and show you what I have. So I'm gonna go into basically the control panel just to show you here the how it looks like after I install it. So just going to go into control panel, uninstall programs, and you're going to have the Dell Open Manage, and you're going to have all of these versions. So just to be safe, I download all the versions, but you really, in reality, you only really need the 64-bit one, the 2015 to 2022 one installed. And then you also need JRE. 
So to install the JRE, you unzip the download file. So I've unzipped it here, and I am going to copy that into the root directory of the C drive under JRE. So I copied that here, and you'll see there's a bin folder, there's a lib folder. I am gonna copy this URL without the bin. So this is the URL without the bin. I am going to go into sysdm and then going to go advanced and I'm going to create the JRE variable JRE underscore home Java runtime underscore home and you'll notice in my variable here you know I've copied and pasted this directory into here just make sure you do not include the bin and you have the slash at the end so I have the slash at the end here um, and so that defines my JRE Java runtime home directory now after installing the Visual C++ runtimes I am ready now to install the OMSA so I have an older version here I am going to uninstall so I'm going to uninstall this one and while it's doing that, I'm going to pause the video and come back. But it should actually be pretty quick, or, or let me just talk through it. So I'm, I'm uninstalling that now. But if I go to Windows Services, and hopefully I could do it quick enough before it unregisters the services, and I go down to these DSM. So these here are the four services that runs the OMSA. So after this is done uninstalling, I'll refresh and these will disappear. So, so that's a good chance for me now to show you that. So the, this is very important because, um, you know, sometimes you have to do the manual start. So let me just pause the video here a little bit. So this is almost done uninstalling here. And after it's done uninstalling, I am going to refresh the screen and show you that these particular services have uh, basically disappeared. Okay, so it's done and installing. I'm going to refresh the screen here, the Windows Services screen, and you'll notice these disappeared, except for this particular one. Um, but let me refresh again. Perhaps it'll disappear. Okay, so it actually deleted the other three, but not this one. Not sure why. But in any case, I'm going to install the version 11 before that was version 8.5. So before I do that, I am going to go into my C drive and I am going to delete this open manage folder. And I'm going to say continue here to delete it. I'm going to delete everything in it. Now I'm going to go back to my downloads folder and I'm ready to run the Open Manage 11. So I'm going to double click on what I've downloaded. It's going to prompt me to unzip it in Open Manage, which is why I deleted the old one. I'm going to push unzip. So I'm just going to wait for it to unzip here. Okay, so it's done unzipping. I'm going to click OK, close it out, go back to the root where I unzipped it, open manage, I'm going to click on Windows, and I'm going to click on the setup here. So just going to run through the setup, and it's going to have a couple of prompts for me. 
So first it's going to check and it's going to sit, have a particular message. So it's checking the prerequisites, but it's also going to have a particular message here of, um, I believe it's the port or the firewall. So I'm going to scroll down. It's, it's done the checks and it's enable remote enablement. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to say yes. And then it enables that. And then it's going to allow me now to install it after it does another prerequisite check. So I'm just going to click install server administrator button here at the bottom. It's going to kick off the install. And I'm actually going to do custom. And I am going to enable the remote enablement and I'm going to enable the SNMP and I'm going to enable this other driver that's there. So basically I'm choosing everything and I'm going to click next. You notice where it's installing it, program files, Dell system management at the bottom here. And then I'm going to say enhance message because this is a new install. And it's really just going to do the installation now. So it looks like it's near complete. Stopping and starting services. Copying files. So now it's it's installing the drivers here, but it's probably it's probably almost done. And it's starting the services. And once it starts the services, I'll go back to the other screen and I'll confirm the services. And also I wanna by default one of the services is gonna be disabled. I am actually gonna enable that service. Okay, so now it's done. It'll actually give a little bit of a description here, but this is just informational. I am gonna click on finish, and I'm gonna go back to PowerShell here, and I'm gonna type services.msc, bring up the Windows Services screen, and confirm the DSM. So you'll notice here the DSM. Now, once again, if this is the primary DSM service, the connection service. So if that does not turn on, it means you did not install one of these. You didn't install Visual Studio or, you know, one of these. So I'm going to click OK here and go back to the screen. So all three of these started except for this shared service because it's disabled. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say automatic. Click apply. Say start. And the service is going to start. And now all four of the DSM services are started. Now I'm going to test it in the browser. So one icon it does add is this server administrator. So if I click on this it's gonna prompt me and I could I could actually log in like this however um, sometimes it'll prompt me for a particular uh, like Windows authentication I want to click escape on that so when I click escape on that it'll bring me to this login screen where I can actually log in. 
So let me let me demonstrate that. Let me pause. So it was logged in before on this particular screen. I'm gonna click log out. And I am gonna type in IP address. So if I'm on, on the local host, I could type in local host port 1311. So I'm gonna get this and make sure it's HTTPS, the IP address or local host 1311 or the machine name. Or you could click on that particular icon. Now the logins that are accepted here are your local administrator. So my local administrator is root. I'm gonna type in the password. Or you could have a domain admin and then you, you could type in the domain slash username. Make sure you have the domain slash username. In this case, I'm using a local admin. So I'm logging in as the local admin. And if I click about, you could see this is the latest 11 that I've installed. Um, I'm just curious here. So I could check on the RAID controller. I could create new disk arrays right within this interface. I could even, and look at here, it actually resumed from the previous, I actually was reconstructing a RAID array when I uninstalled the old one, but that is within the RAID array itself, not within this particular software that sits on top of the RAID array. So that was okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was I could go into preferences and I could you know, have the general settings where I'm setting up the SMTP server to show me particular warnings of, uh, you know, array, um, disks that are damaged, disks that are removed. It'll send me email, stuff like that. So, so here's where the 1311 port comes from. That's the default port. Um, I am actually going to say the, the session is unlimited. You know, um, and I'm going to click apply here so that it doesn't uh, log me out after 30 minutes. I'm going to restart the web server. So that is that completes the installation of the Open Manage Server Administrator, OMSA. And once again, this is not the same as Open Manage Enterprise, which manages a group of servers. This manages one standalone particular server that's in, that the software is installed on. Um, and that's really it. That's really what I wanted to show. I hope this helps and uh, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please um, you know, ask below. Uh, support this channel by subscribing. Have a great day and thank you so much.